Hey everybody and welcome back to Investment Honey where we talk about various crypto projects. Before we begin, I want to let you know that I am not your financial advisor. I do not provide financial advice on the channel and I don't even encourage you to invest. But what I am going to do is share with you my own personal opinion and views on the projects discussed on the channel. So with that said, we're looking at Libera. Uh, if you're familiar with Libero, um, it was one of the, you know, um, first um, high APY you know projects that really you know a lot of people saw some success you know with that and so um, Libera is looking to launch Libera um, you know because what it's finding you know is that really due to a lot of the tokenomics associated you know with uh, high APY tokens it makes it very difficult for them to go ahead and get listed on central exchanges and to date there is no high, AP, high APY project listed on an exchange. So uh, what they're basically setting out to do is to be the world's first APY token uh, that becomes one, hyperdeflationary, and two, it's going to be able to get listed on a central exchange. So the next breakthrough in DeFi space by Libero Financial and Innovating or innovation enabling the 158,893.59 percent fixed APY token to be hyper deflationary. Uh, so as you can see here, the launch is coming in just over two days. Um, it's going to be a fair launch, 1400 UTC on the on May 7th, so this Saturday, you know. So um, and let's see here, they've got a contest going on. 20 random winners going to get $100 in Libera. Uh, and then they've got their competition link, you know, right here. You can see the price when it launches, 0.964. Um, and then we see a comparison table. Uh, so it compares itself to uh, Titano and Seifu, two of the other, um, you know, first movers, you know, in terms of the high APY space that were successful. Um, and then, you know, again, so this is not necessarily saying that Libera is better. Or worse, again, whenever I talk about comparison charts, uh, this isn't about pouring cold water on any other project. This is just simply, here's what we do, here's what they don't kind of thing. So you just look at it from a factual uh, standpoint. So they give you different categories, you know, deflationary, aggressive burning, limited supply, inflation, native token reward, BUSD, transfer tax, taxes, you know, central exchanges, um, uh, volume rewards on central exchange, stakeable in yield, highest or hour, sorry, hourly biggest buy rewards, automatic LP nuking, uh, circuit breaker, uh, ultimate gamification, multi-chain farming. So you can see that as far as Libera is concerned, it hits the, it checks all those boxes. Uh, but again, when you look at uh, Titano or Seifu, there are things that's like, that Libera does that, you know, that aren't, aren't associated in terms of feature sets uh, with Titano and Seifu. Um, big thing here, deflationary, uh, Titano and Seifu are not deflationary. Aggressive burning, so we're talking about 25% on each cell. That's big um, in comparison to Titano and Seifu, where that doesn't happen, but Seifu, you're talking about 2.5% uh, per transaction on the burn. A limited supply, so yeah, and then on the other two, it's unlimited. Inflation, no inflation, where you do have some, you know, with the other two. Um, not going to touch on all this, you know, but um, we do see BUSD up to 520%, and then you don't see that, you know, here, transfer tax. Uh, the taxes do look, you know, a bit lower, you know, on, on Liberia in comparison to uh, Titana or Seifu. And then here, central exchanges, you know, yes, and then you see no to these. So a lot of different uh, things we can take a look at in terms of just the comparison chart in terms of what is offered by Libera and not offered uh, when you look at the other two uh, big successful projects um, that are APY. So and uh, here we get some information, the world's first triple passive income and hyper deflationary token becoming or coming to uh, centralized exchanges. So and I mean, that again, they're just talking about Libera how it works so we see here and you can go ahead and you can click on each of these and it gives you some information you know one here reduction of tax you know so again we talked about the taxes it's lower than the other two um biggest buyer and auto bnb rewards uh you know so automatic lp nuking and circuit breaker mechanisms to protect to prevent panic cells so and the way i read that is it you know it's got a mechanism built in you know put into place you know so that there isn't a bunch of dumping taking place you know on the chart with the token, and then we see ultimate gamification. So a lot of games going to be implemented soon to both add to your Libera bag and reduce your sell tax from 16% to 5 in your next sell if you win. So more gaming and DGen mechanics coming soon, which I think is pretty cool. So we see, you know, there's just some reasons for why you should choose, you know, Libera. And again, on this channel, we don't even encourage you to invest, but uh, just simply they're giving you, you know, reasons why you may want to consider, um, you know, participating you know in their uh, in their fair launch uh, to acquire their token 
Um, and then we see, you know, some different uh, things going on here with, you know, uh, their partners, you know, so in, in each for each one, there's a link associated with it, you know, so. Um, and then we see here on the bank, uh, the innovation behind Libera, so what makes it innovative, and then you have a quick you read more hint, link that you can go ahead and touch on there. We've got some PR here, so each one has a link associated with it where you can go ahead and read some of the press associated, you know, with the token. And then they got their standard FAQ. Um, and then we see different products, you know, some documentation here and socials as well. On the documentation, we see here, okay, I'm just going to close it out, um, where it says, um, you know, that they, they talk about, you know, Liberia, the world's first uh, APY uh, token becoming hyperdeflationary. So a lot of different things you can engage with here, you know, in their white paper. I'm not going to go through that, you know, but just making you aware that it's there. So, I mean, for the most part, I mean, that's really just a walk around in terms of Liberia. Um, you know, I think that considering it's coming from Libero, for me personally, I see that as a good signal because Libero is uh, is and has been and still is uh, a successful project. You know, so and I think being the first mover, the first of anything, you know, in an industry that's growing, I think is definitely a good signal as well. Um, it, it doesn't necessarily mean that. And I've said this on many other videos that, you know, hey, you've got a YouTuber that's talking about a project. You know, don't just go ahead and take what I say as a green light to go ahead and jump into a project. On this channel, what we try to do is make you aware of a project that you may not be aware of. And I'll give you a little bit of information, but then I'm going to go ahead and encourage you to go out and make yourself more informed, you know, about the project. And that means, you know, looking at the at the white paper. That means going through it, getting into their social channels and asking questions. Um, too often in crypto, you know, we see a lot of people that go ahead and listen to a YouTuber and they decide to go ahead and take, you know, what they say is the green light to jump into a project. That will never happen on this channel. I'm just here to go ahead and give you the information and then encourage you to get out there and do your own research. And that means you got to go ahead and read the white paper and engage with the project yourself to figure out what your signals are, you know, as to what makes you want to stay away from a project or lean into it to participate. So with that said, as always, guys, thank you for watching the video. Thank you for engaging with the content on my channel. If you guys have learned anything, by all means, please subscribe. And with that said, I'll leave the links for the project in the description and you guys enjoy the day.